Intern! Intern, fantastic news! Wonderful, fantastic, awesome news! Lemon! Lemon, good news! I might be able to get you a lime soon! A lime! Would you like that, Lemon? I think he'd like that. Oh. And you! I have good news for you too, Mr. Bullshark! Wherever you have gone. That Bullshark, where is he? That's a fish. Goodness gracious, where'd our Bullshark go? Oh, there he is! I have good news, Bullshark! We've received a massive amount of donations! Oh. Now we can totally make- Oh, intern, I'm so excited. We can totally make the shark tunnel the way it should have been in the very beginning. Because this is one of the coolest parts of the zoo. And we just haven't had the money to upgrade it. And we just got a massive amount of donations. So, what can we- I mean, we could do so much with the money all around the zoo. But I am determined. Determined! To do something here with our shark tunnel. Because it is one of the coolest features that we have. Don't you think so, little boy? Don't you think it's so cool? He thinks our bench is really comfortable. The zoo is great. Aw, oh, cool. This kid has his face painted. That's so neat. He's eaten at the restaurant, bought gifts. What do you think, little girl? Oh, Bull Shark 1 seems unhappy. What? Well, yeah, he, he really needs an upgrade to uh, his entire area. I will admit it looks extremely boring. There's nothing in there. There he is. Oh, and he's lonely. And he's feeling stressed about some place to have privacy. Alright, we're gonna take care of this. Alright, intern. No time for dilly-dallying. We're getting right on this. I just feel like the sharks have been overlooked, even though they're one of the coolest parts of the zoo, in my personal opinion. So we are going to jump in and take care of him. Let's start by giving him a privacy area. There we go. You think he'll appreciate this? He can swim back here. Kind of have his own little zone of, of privacy. Go whoosh. Get out of all the prying eyes. Just have the ammonites to stare at. I think he'll like that. Oh, and I mean, look at this tank. Look at it. It's just empty and sad. No, don't worry, Mr. Bullshark. We will get this. We will make all of this right. Th there will be things righted in this world. And look at me, intern. I'm not even spending the money on the expensive rocks. You know my weakness for them. They're like trees. Important accents that add so much to everything. But, ah, uh, See, being good. Being good. Keeping it to just the, the cheap rocks. The $40 rocks. Besides, I know they're much easier for you to move, so I'm sure you appreciate that, since, you know, you are my intern, so whenever I need rocks hauled around, you are the one I, I look forward to calling. I've been doing this for a long time, don't look at me like that. I've hauled my fair share of rocks. That's why you are the intern, and I am not. Let's see, there we go. Alright, what else can we put in here? No, not that giant kelp. Not the bullwhip kelp. The eelgrass? The yellow grass looks kind of cool. We could put a few of those in here. Let's see, green sea fingers. No, that giant kelp is just too big. So is that one. No. Don't think we'll use those. So bullwhip. Bullwhip. Giant kelp. Giant kelp. Yellow grass. Oh, oh, this is the giant kelp I like, though. Yeah. I don't think we need to put any reef rocks in here, as this is not a reef tank. Alright, let's get these over here, put a little bit of this over here. There we go. Oh, let's put a whole bunch of them over here. I'm sure he'd appreciate having some nice kelp in his little privacy zone, so he can feel like he's off in his own little world. Let's see, let's put you right there. There, look at that! It's nice and thick with lush grasses now. Oh, I'd feel much better if I was a shark in this tank. It wouldn't be nearly as, as, you know, exposed. Let's see, kelp grass. We could put, let's put a little bit of kelp grass on the bottom. Oh, Mr. Bull Shark, you're going to be so much happier. Oh, but yeah, in turn, I just, I know we have a million things we could attend to. It's just the shark tunnel has been so overlooked in so many ways, and I just feel this is the right thing to do. Take care of our sharks. We want to take care of all of our animals. <gasps> Look at the little puff ball! It's so cute! A little orange puff ball. Alright, let's get this in here. Let's see, tuck you there. So one there, whoops. Oh, gotta be careful. Gotta stay in the water. Eh. Whoa, okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Much better. Safer from up here. I don't see where the puffball went. Let's see, there we go. 
but I trust that it's somewhere down there. There we go, a few puffballs. Oh look, we can put the sugar stars over here. Oh, yep, there's the puffballs. Sugar star, oops, yeah. There, so we can give people something to look at against the back of the tank, I like it. Also, we'll sprinkle a few down among the kelp grass. There. Oh, this is just gonna change this bull shark's world. He is not gonna know what happened. And not just because he's a shark and can't comprehend. Though they're quite, they're intelligent in their own way. Never knock it, intern. Never knock it. Let's see, that's above ground grass. Oh, oh, here you go, dude. We'll give you some yellowfin tuna. Some herring. You already have a little bubbler. Can I give you anything else to make you happy? How about some shellfish? We'll put some shellfish on the bottom, too. So you have a little bit of a variety to eat from. Boom. Whoa, so much water splashing. So much water splashing everywhere. All right, let's dive in and see if he likes it. Replenish that, clean the water. There goes the tuna. There goes the herring. Look at that beautiful tuna. That's all yours, dude. All yours to eat, Mr. Bull, Bull Shark. Where'd you go? I don't like being in the shark tanks and not, Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, I think this will make him much happier. There. That should make him much, much happier. Do you think we should give him a friend? Because he did- he was lonely. What kind of- what kind of friend, though? Because this is the shark tunnel, and we are kind of only boasting two sharks. That's a bit of an embarrassment. Oh, check that out. The blue marlin. Beautiful. And the mahi-mahi. One day, mahi-mahi, one day. Let's see, where are we? No, not manta rays. Here we go. Sharks. Oh, the white shark. Oh. Oh, I would love to have a white shark. It would need a much bigger tank, though. That'll be- maybe that'll be what we have over here one day. We'll have an amazing white shark in one of these tanks. Oh, that would be so cool. But what else? Let's see. Scalloped hammerhead. Oh, a hammerhead shark would be so awesome. But this is a deep sea shark, so let's see. Oh, the bonnet head! <gasps> Look how cute it is! Let's put in a female bonnet head. There you go, little one. I'm gonna jump down and join you. Whoop! Hello there, Mr. Fish. Oh, look at her! Oh, she's so beautiful! Oh, actually, I think that's our bull shark. No? Nope? Nope, that's the bonnet head, alright. She's just a teensy little thing. Oh, I think she's gonna be happy in here, too. This just looks so much better. So much better. You guys will really enjoy it. I just know you will. All right, what I think we're gonna do is take some of this giant kelp and just put a little bit of it, just a teeny bit, into the reef tank. Just a tiny bit, because the reef tank looks kind of kind of sad. Also, we should do the same thing over here. Let me see, no, not that one. Not that one. Intern, come on, give me some greener kelp. That's what I'm talking about. Nice green kelp. Also, we should probably give this guy some privacy, too. So let's go ahead and come right here. And there. Now Lemon has a little bit of privacy. And Lemon, I made a solemn promise. So I'm going to give you a lime. Lime. Little girl lime. There we go. Oh, look at everything. Okay, okay. Let's get down. And see what our shark tank or our shark tunnel looks like now that it actually has some sharks. Look at how beautiful our zoo is. I'm so proud of it. Okay, that wall looks kind of boring. I'll admit that. Check him out! Look at him! Look at him go! Oh, Lime! Welcome! I hope you and Lemon get along well swimming against the tank and everything. And it looks much better with a little bit of kelp in here. Much better. Don't, don't doubt me, intern. You know I love my green stuff. Oh, look at the teensy itty bitty little bonnet head. She's so cute. I think our bull shark will leave her be too. 
They should leave each other alone. They've got plenty of food. Plenty of food to eat, plenty of food to play with. Our shark tank, er, our shark tunnel actually has sharks now. There's actually sharks in here. And there's even room for a few more of the smaller species. Ah, oh, we could put, ah, oh, maybe put one of the black tip reef sharks in here. Things are gonna go good in turn. In fact, do we have any manta rays? We could sneak a manta ray or two in there. Okay, I see a whole bunch of manta rays swimming. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Hi, turtles. Hi, guys. There's, uh, there's our Hawaiian seal, Hawaiian monk seal. There's a manta ray. Two, three, four, five. Yeah! All right, good. Our manta ray population is doing well. Manta ray 24. Hmm. You have a mate, manta ray 26. So let's put those guys in here. That's one of the, the reasons that we have so many manta rays is that we want to start sprinkling them out throughout the zoo to have even more multi-creature. <gasps> that reminds me! Creatures, multiple creatures. Eh. Okay, the eggs hasn't haven't hatched yet. There's two of them now too. Don't worry, I'm keeping an eye on these in turn because baby penguins are adorable. Yeah, still got a little while to hatch. And speaking of eggs and hatching, how are things going down here, Caspian turtles? Are they going well? Where are you guys? We finally have names for you. We finally have some names for you. I want to name you. Whoop, there you are. They're definitely in there. It's just really hard to get to them when they're buried under all of that foliage. But that's okay, that's what it's there for. Oh, Caspian Sea Turtle. Okay, fine. I won't name you formally. I'm just going to pull up your file. Alright. Ammonites doing good. Might need scrubbed in a little bit. Belugas are exceptionally populous. Uh, let's release a few belugas out to the wild. Mostly the extra boys. Doing good. Baby. Okay, we'll let the baby stay. Females. We'll release one of the females too. Because we don't have too many belugas. Especially not with some emperor penguin babies on the way. And the dolphins. Oh my goodness, we might have to slim down on the number of dolphins we have, too. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh gracious. Let, let's, let's see. Baby. 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 Well, our zoo is going to be very popular for the number of baby dolphins we have. There, there's that. Wow, there's so many baby dolphins. We're going to release just a few of them, a little pod. Because that's just so many. Let's see, 23. Let's see, 33? There, we're just going to release a few of them, not too many. Winter's still around, though she's getting old. I'm afraid that uh, Flipper the Turtle Stalker passed away, as did his longtime mate, Allison. Allison is the founder of this entire line. By the way, we do have a ton of babies again. Everyone's doing well over here. Let's check them out. Let's see. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Where's my gate? There's my gate. Hi, guys! Getting a little dirty in here, huh? That's okay. I'll clean it up. Oh, look at the little lizard babies! I'm glad to have you guys back. Good. Little lizards, little lizard babies. Oh, hi! Hi! Look at him play! Look at him! <gasps> Look at him use the burrow! Oh, that's awesome! Look at his little tail stick out! I just want to kind of pull on it a little bit. You're being so cute. The babies are mock fighting. They're having a good time. Yeah, I think everybody will like these little guys. Hey, don't sneak them any of your food, okay? They do not eat french fries. Like, the They don't eat french fries. No feeding them french fries. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, sir. I saw you wave that french fry around. Irresponsible. Totally irresponsible. Alright. Oh. Things are just going so great, in turn. I'm so relieved. Let's check over on our seals. That's what we were working on, too. 
Seals. Seals. Seals! We have seals on the loose! What is going on? Jeff! Jeff ran into the bathroom! There he is! Get over here, Jeff! What do you think you're doing? You can't pull those kinds of stunts. You're supposed to pull other kinds of stunts. Over here! In your show tank. Hmm, speaking of the show tank... Is that a... Is somebody inside... Oh, it's a lionfish! I see. Hmm, speaking of this... What should we do with this- <gasps> The shark nom nom, dude! We need to put him in the shark tunnel, intern! What's the point of keeping him away from the sharks? Yeah! Let's stick him over here. I'm sure- Yeah, we'll put him right over here. I think people will appreciate having their picture taken, pretending to be like they're being eaten by a shark. Especially in the shark tunnel. That is a perfect juxtaposition of the little entertainment item and where our sharks are. Let's see. Alright, do you have the shovel? Good, good. We need that shovel. And now, let's see. Let's flatten this out. I think that's what we're gonna do here. We'll flatten this spot out, but leave this spot as it is. A little, a little cliff. Yes, we'll leave this as a little cliff so that people can see down here too. Yes, that's what we'll do. Eventually we're going to get the seals up and going too in turn. It's just a matter of making sure we remember our priorities. Which also include using the marine path. We're going to start replacing all of the sand with the marine pathway, so we might as well start over here. Actually, I think we should yeah, take that back. Pull it back a little bit because I'm going to put some plants there. Everything is always better with plants. Oh, Beluga89 is now pregnant. We are soon probably going to see our 100th Beluga be born. Let that razzle-dazzle your mind. Let's see. Take you over here. Yeah, there we go. Then that's way people can view the show tank. Good, good. There. Eventually we'll we'll make it so the paths match up, don't worry. We'll get there. The show tank's gonna be right here. Fill that in. There we go. I think you know what? I know this is a little bit of an odd move, but I think we're going to shut down the cute show for our uh, our otters just for a little while their population is kind of ebbing so we need to see if we can pull their population up and not having them in the shows might help with that and then let's come over here put that right there and this right here and then we can design a show tank because we do have orders from our bosses do you have any animal perform the balance ball trick on its nose, the slide trick, and the horn trick? And that actually means that our seals are perfect. Absolutely perfect for that job. Aren't you, Joanna? Because I do believe that they should know some of those tricks. So let's see if we can get... Let's see. Plan the show. Joanna and Jeff. Jeff isn't fully trained, but Joanna is. And... There we go. Balance ball trick. Right there. Balance ball trick. Whoops. Is that balance ball? Yeah, those are both balance ball. Now we're going to move you right here. I wonder why one is bigger than the other. Balance ball. Balance ball. Whatever. We can deal with it. And then we want the slide. Sit on seat. There we go. Slide. There's the slide. We'll put that right here. It's a little tight of a fit for some of their things. And then, what was it? The honk the horn trick. Play horns. So we'll let him wait. And can he play the horns? Do you know how to play the horns? Yeah, he knows how to play the horns. And we'll put the horn trick. Can we fit it over here? Oh, we can. It's just going to be a little bit of a tight fit. To say the least. In fact, I think what we'll actually do... Hmm... Show 212. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of shows. 
That's so many shows. Take that away. Take this over here. There. More space. Ball. Ball trick right there. No. Ball trick right here. There. Okay. There we go. And then we'll have him do... Let's see. Jump on trampoline. That's a three star popularity. Horns. Basketball hoop is three and a half. Sit. Slide on slide. We could have him slide on slide. We could probably do that. It's just as this is just gonna be a very quick, easy little show. Let's see, two star, three star, jump on you know, let's end with jump on trampoline. Why not? Let's grab trampoline, move it over here, and come on, we can put the trampoline somewhere over here, right? Hmm, this is a very small show tank. Sorry guys, it's a little crowded. We'll make your shows specialty shows. And we'll call this a uh, seal preview. There we go. Seal preview is starting soon. We'll add a couple breaks in there for them. But we should be able to get the pictures so that we can get, hopefully. Are you guys still in there? Yeah, they're swimming over here. Good job, Joanna. Good job, Jeff. But hopefully we will be able to get the pictures so that we can get the funding that we need and get back to building around the zoo. Ah, but that'll be once the show starts. So why don't we go grab a quick bite to eat before that? And I will see you back here after lunch, okay, intern? All right, go hurry. Go grab your sub sandwich real fast because the show's gonna start any second now. Bye bye <laughs>